सो हेलो आई एव रिवन टुडे इन दिस पटला वीडियो आई एल बी ब्रेकिंग अ वेरी बिग मिथ दैट यू गाइज आर हैविंग इफ यू आर थिंकिंग डेटा इंजीनियर इज ओनली रिलेटेड टू सीक्वल दे आर जस्ट राइटिंग द सीक्वल क्वेरीज आई एल बी ब्रेकिंग दैट मिथ फॉर यू एंड आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग एवरी यू एवरी थिंग विद अ प्रॉपर स्टेप्स विद अ प्रॉपर एक्स प्रैक्टिकल थिंग्स प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स एंड आई हैव अ पेन टैबलेट इन माई हैंड ऑल्सो आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग विद ऑल माई एक्सपीरियंस दट आई हैव एंड वॉट आई हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस फाइव ईयर्स इन द मार्केट एंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली यू नीड टू डू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू दिस फील्ड ऑफ डेटा इंजीनियरिंग ऑल्सो वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट एंड वॉट नॉट टू expect in this particular field and uh, whether it is good field for you or not that also we will be ex- also exploring if you are confused yeah, whether i should get whether it is a good fit for me also or not that reality i'll be explaining you that is a reality thing that i'll be giving you of data engineering in this particular video so uh, who am i to guide you just to, uh, just to give you a brief i my name is anurag shrivastava i am a data brick certified professional data engineer also a remote senior data engineer working at a remote company situated in arizona us and i'll be explaining Explaining you with all my experiences, and I have worked in MNCs also. I have worked in startups, mid-sized company. So I'll be giving you that particular uh, thinking. कि हाँ, basically कैसे क्या करना है so that it is easier for you to transit or to get into this particular field. Whether you are a fresher, whether you are a person who is five years, ten years of experience, you want to get into data engineering. This is the video for you. Okay. So let's start with the things as you can see on the screen. First point that is SQL. is de means most of the time people are writing the sql command no it is just the starting point when you are a fresher when you are a person who are just starting many times when about if we say if you work for 8 hours about 1 hour or 1.5 hours you will be writing these kind of sql queries as per the use case as per the business standards uh, business use case business requirements rest of the time there are so many things that are related to data engineering that you will be doing that you will be maintaining that you will be working on so it is not just the thing that people think ki ha i'll learn sql i'll get, i can get into data engineering no that is not the truth okay so data engineering is much more than that and definitely that will be it is just starting but definitely see SQL is important. SQL is important for any sort of data engineering, uh, data domain interviews or data domain roles. If you are working, whether it is data analytics, business analytics, uh, data engineering, data science, any sort of role, ML engineering, any sort of role. So basically, data SQL is important, but it is not everything, and definitely it is a starting point. A starting. point sql is the starting point okay sql is the starting point that we need to understand next point is basically that is our uh, let's go back and let's uh, let's just okay next point second point second point is real data engineering is all about all about what is real data engineering real de i'll write data engineering i'll is ref, i'll refer in the uh, going forward in the video that is de okay data engineering it is better and much more short okay to write so basically what is real data engineering da- real data engineering is all about what is it is about it is about how you build the stuff different sort of data is there data is all scattered how will be building a system so that all the data can be used that is the real mind behind data engineering ne- नेक्स्ट थिंग इज बेसिकली हाउ टू ऑटोमेट दिस ठीक है बिकॉज एवरी टाइम यू विल नॉट रनिंग द थिंग्स एवरी टाइम यू विल बी नॉट हैंडलिंग द थिंग्स बाई यूर सेल्फ मैनुअली यू विल बी ऑटोमेटिंग दी स्टफ ऑल्सो दैट इज डेटा इंजीनियरिंग बिल्डिंग द थिंग्स ऑटोमेटिंग देन फर्स्ट विल बिल्ड देन विल ट्राई टू ऑटोमेट द थिंग्स देन आफ्टर दिस वॉट टू डू आफ्टर दिस बेसिकली हाउ टू ऑर्केस्ट्रेट what is orchestrate now when you are building something when you are automating there should be there has to be several steps that has to run for first step one will run second will run third will run fifth will run sixth will run then success method message will be printed that is a pattern that is called as orchestration a step by step one by one things how you will to do so basically there will be many sort of pipelines first pipeline will run then only second has to run then only third has to run if this fails this will not run okay that can that kind of constraint that Kind of things you have to apply. That is called as orchestration. Orchestration means uh, thinking or making a like uh, things. Ki ha, this will run, then this will run, then this will run. Orchestrating the things. Orchestrate. Ki ha, ye chale, ye chale, ye chale, ye chale. Something like that. Okay. Orchestrating the things. Orchestration is very very important. Then we talk about monitor. If anything is failing. how you monitor the thing then after monitoring if anything if anything fails how you fix the things 
fixing is very very important okay and many times you will be working on monitoring and fixing also because when you are building a pipeline it can fail in some kind of scenarios in some kind of business use case in some kind of data that is not good a bad data came a different sort of data came so there it is saying that you have to figure out that you have to fix that is also a work of a data engineer so most of the times you will be doing these things that is a second point that i was explaining next point i'll be coming to my red pen again and i'll taking the third point third point third point is basically इफ यू आर थिंकिंग यहाँ से इक्वल करके सब कुछ हो जाएगा नो देर आर मेनी स्किल्स दैट आर मच मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैन सीक्वल डेफिनेटली सीक्वल इज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट बट मेजरली दैट यूल बी यूजिंग यू विल बी डीलिंग विद बिग डेटा सो पाई स्पार्क इज द मेजर थिंग बिकॉज इट वर्क इन इन मेमरी डेटा प्रोसेसिंग इंजन है डेटा प्रोसेसिंग इंजन इज बेसिकली एंड इट डज द डेटा इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड मैनर इट प्रोसेस द डेटा द रॉ डेटा इट प्रोसेस एंड गिव यू द ट्रांसफॉर्म द क्लीनर डेटा सो बेसिकली हाउ टू यूज दैट बेसिकली दैट यू नीड टू नो then how to model the data data modeling is also very very important i am talking about uh, on the aspect of uh, say 3 years of experience 5 years of experience 7 years of experience also okay so that is very very important data modeling is very very important then workflows how you will be setting these kind of pipelines and how you will be making those kind of workflows that is also very very important theek okay? hai workflows वर्क फ्लो की हाँ हाउ यू सेट दैट वर्क फ्लो दिस पाइप लाइन मिलन दैन दिस पाइप लाइन दैन दिस टास्क हैज टू रन दैन दैट पर्टुलर थिंग हैज टू अपलोड दिस पर्टुलर फाइल टू सम एस थ्री बकेट और हैज टू डू दिस प्रोसेस हैज टू डिलीट दिस फाइल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हाउ टू दैट बिल्ड दिस काइंड ऑफ वर्क फ्लो दैन आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दैट एस थ्री एंड स्टोरेज After doing all kind of processing, where to store the data, how to build that kind of thing, that is also very very important. So if you want to learn all these kind of thing, definitely you can do it for free from the YouTube, from the different kind of videos. Or we have a data focus data X boot camp. If anyone who is seeing this video, uh, just want to get uh, tell you that if you want to get into data engineering and you want a structured part, all given by me, I have taught everything from the scratch, from the zero till the AI enabled data engineer. If you want to learn all those sort of things, I have made a proper boot. cam that is for you from the scratch it has 80 hours plus content of the videos that you can go through it has quizzes it has assignment it has uh, okay, we get, you get uh, access to communities two communities are there where you get the access more than 325 people are already there getting the benefit there are so many people who have got the offer letters so many people who are in the pipeline definitely you can also be one of the them and i have given the link of the boot camp in the description also go in the description there is a coupon code there is a link there is a support number if you want to reach out directly on the support and team will help you with all those sort of things definitely you can do that also so let's go ahead with the fourth point fourth point is all about if you want to if just if i give a example that is how things work suppose if there is a example there is a scenario where there is a file in s3 bucket okay it is there in s3 bucket that is amazon s3 it is it is a object storage anything can be stored so you are storing a file a csv file maybe okay then what you are doing you are fetching that file and doing some transformation via pyspark using pyspark you are doing some sort of transformations then after that what you are doing you are storing that into a delta format okay into a delta format if a table you are storing that on a data breaks or any sort of azure synapse anywhere you are storing that then you are building a dashboard this kind of life cycle it it seems to be one one step but it is a very very complex steps also because the data can be very huge the data can be uh, a very bad uh, a very bad kind of record can be there so definitely to clean that to sort that kind of things that is also very very important so try to understand that kind of uh, things also ke ha these these are the steps that we can follow to uh basically do kind of things okay next thing is basically i'll just change my color of the pen that is this thing and we will okay so next thing is basically that is fifth point fifth point is all about after doing all those kind of things we have done everything we have learned everything and from the scratch if you want to do definitely our boot camp is there go there and explore the things and uh, definitely that help you'll be getting other than that d if there there was a myth that sql is all about d no de is more sort of is more closer to what backend d is more closer to backend to the infra infrastructure how to follow infra infra means ki ha 
if this much data is there where to store clean the data clean the servers and all that kind of stuff that kind of things you'll be working on and d is more data engineering is more related to uh, the closer to back end the coding the things automating the things cleaning the things optimizing the things and it is not like it is not like it is not like what it is not like it is not like what it is not like just business analyst bi analyst bi analyst are totally different business analyst are totally different with the sql okay it is totally different the work of a business analyst is very different to from the d so don't get confused between ki ha we'll be also using sql and we can get into data engineering there are many sort of things that you need to learn and definitely you can get into data engineering a fresher can also get into data engineering if they learn the things in these kind of they the like practical way in the proper road map in the proper structure that is what is actually demanded in data engineering if you learn those things you can get into data engineering so this was all about a video thank you so much for watching this particular video and any questions any doubts please reach out and ask the doubts are the things in the comments also and i have given if you want to get into enroll into data engineering boot camp that we have from end to end from the scratch definitely get through that and definitely links are in the description use that reach out ask the questions and definitely in 2026 by 2026 27 get your high paying job okay so this was all about a video thank you so much bye bye